Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and in this video for the new Boston, we're going to be looking at uh, continued string functions. However, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a small program that allows user input, and then we're going to sense out certain words that we don't want to be included. So it's quite a fun program to make, and you get to specify your own words that you want to be uh, excluded. Um, we obviously are taking use input, so it's interactive, and it helps you uh, learn to that degree. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a form with an action and a method. Now we've already discussed this, I'm going to create the method as post because we're going to be sending um, a fairly large text area size worth of data and the action is just going to come straight back to index.php but obviously if you're creating a program that let's say posts a comment um, you're going to want this value to go maybe to another page to, um, to process but entirely up to you where your form is being processed. So now what we need to do is we need to type um, or create um, a text area. So we're going to start and end the text area and we're going to give this a name of user underscore input and I'm going to give it a rows and a cols value and this is rows and columns so rows about 7 um, and we'll say columns about 30. Let's make this a 6 actually. So uh, let's preview what we've got so far in our browser. Uh, let's just go to there. Okay, so we've got a small text area. We're going to also create a submit button. So let's break down a couple of times and then we um, an input type of submit and then we can give that a value of submit to ensure this value is displayed on the button. So let's refresh and see what we've got there. Okay, so we've got our submit button. We've got our uh, we've got our text area. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a horizontal line just up here. Um, and that's just going to separate the content that we display back to the user and this form. So now what I'm going to do is inside PHP we need to do first of all a few checks to ensure that this user input value has been submitted and that it contains some text. So we're going to create an if statement and then the block here is what we're going to run um, if um, inside here this block is what we're going to run if uh, this is successful. So we're going to say if is set and then inside this function we're going to say post user input and we're also going to check so we're using a logical operator and we're also going to check if it's not empty so I'm using an ex exclamation mark as another logical operator to say it is not empty and this is obviously a function um, if not empty dollar underscore post user input so we've, uh, we've already addressed this in other tutorials but basically what we're looking for is um, the uh, user input to be there and to have some content inside of it. So let's just echo this to test if it works. So let's go back on here. So if we click it without entering anything, nothing happens. If we type um, some text inside of it and click submit, it works. So now we are uh, all set to process this data that has been typed in this uh, text area. Okay, so. Um, actually what I'm going to do beforehand is just embed uh, in here some data um, that's already been submitted so the user can look at what they've written uh, look at what they've submitted this is just purely for learning purposes so you can uh, get an idea of this so uh, let's first of all create um, a variable up here called uh, user input and that's going to be equal to dollar underscore post user underscore input so we're just taking the variables um, from our form of the data from our form so we can echo user input and now what's going to happen is uh, when we do submit data um, in here when we submit it it's going to uh, oh what's happened there uh, let's have a look let's try and submit that no Oh, okay, so obviously um, we're echoing out this inside, but we're not echoing it out here. That's why it's not being displayed. So um, um, as it stands at the moment, as we, uh, let's come back and refresh this. Um, as we type text into here, we submit, it's displayed here and kept in here. That's just a little tweak um, to ensure that we uh, keep everything consistent. So now what we need to do, uh, we'll get rid of this is we need to create two arrays which I'm going to create up here and the first one is going to be called find 
and the next one's going to be called replace. So the find array is going to be uh, words that we want to find, and I'm just going to keep these as names for now. So I'm going to have three names, and that's going to be um, Alex, Billy, Dale. Okay, so the array to replace is the values we want to replace. So we have the same corresponding values. So Alex will correspond to this one here. And I'm just going to keep that as Alex with the two stars in the middle. Uh, Billy with the three stars just in the middle there, or asterisks if you like. And Dale with the, exactly the same thing. 